Hi friends, welcome to Naresh I Technologies. Let us start a new session today on a topic races and games. Now this topic is one of the sub chapter of time and distance. Now today let us discuss what are the different questions that can be asked in this chapter. Now coming to question number 1. In a 1000 meter race, A defeats B by 200 meters and B defeats C by 100 meters. In the same race, by how many meters will A defeat C? Now, here there should be a condition that A, B and C are running at constant speed. Now, what do you mean by running at constant speed? Now, the definition of running at constant speed, traveling equal distances at equal intervals of time. Now, when I say A, B and C are running at constant speed, it means that suppose if A started his race at 10 meters per second, the complete race he should be running at 10 meters per second and if B started his race at 9 meters per second, the complete race he should be running at 9 meters per second. Now, this is the meaning of running at constant speed. Now, let us try to analyze the question given to us. In a 1000 meter race, A defeats B by 200 meters. When I say A defeats B, it means that A completed his race. Now, when I say A defeated B, I can only say A defeated B if A completed his race. Now, A defeats B by 200 meters. It means that if A runs 1000 meters, in the same time, B runs 800 meters. If you clearly listen once again, A defeats B by 200 meters. It means that if A runs 1000 meters in the same time, so here time is constant, in the same time B will run 800 meters. Now, we have one more statement that B defeats C by 100 meters. Now, when I say B defeated C, obviously B should be completing the race. Now, B defeats C by 100 meters. It means that if B runs 1000 meters in the same time, C will run 900 meters. So, based upon the given information for us in the question, we came to know that if A runs 1000 meters in the same time B runs 800 meters and if B runs 1000 meters in the same time C runs 900 meters. Now, what is that we have to find out? In the same race, by how many meters will A defeat C? That is, by the time A completed the race, C is how many meters behind the finish line? So, I need to find out by the time A completed 1000 meters, how many meters did C run? For that, there is one person who is common in both, that is B. Now, let us make B equal. We know that if B runs 1000 meters, in the same time C will run 900 meters. Suppose I say, if B runs 100 meters, in the same time, how many meters will C run? Obviously, C should be running 90 meters. Now, if B runs 800 meters, in the same time, how many meters will C run? Now, 100 and 800 are 8 times. So, 90 into 8, it is 720 meters. Now, if you look carefully, if A runs 1000 meters, in the same time B runs 800 meters. Now, if B runs 800 meters, in the same time C will run 720 meters. So, by the time A completed the race, C has run only 720 meters. So, by how many meters did A defeat C? A defeated C by 280 meters. Now, this is the answer for this question. Now, let us discuss the next question in this chapter. A and B complete a 100 meter race in 12 seconds and 15 seconds respectively. 
by how many meters will A defeat B? Definitely here also we have to assume that A and B are running at constant speed. Now the solution for this problem. Now who is the person who took less time to complete the race? Obviously A. A completed this 100 meter race in 12 seconds but B completed the same 100 meter race in 15 seconds. So definitely A defeated B. My question is A defeated B by how many meters? Now we know that A is running 100 meters in 12 seconds and B is running the same 100 meters in 15 seconds. Now what is that we have to find out to tell the answer for this question is by the time A completed the race how many meters did B run? Now we know that A completed his race in 12 seconds. So we need to find out in the same 12 seconds how many meters did B run? Now from the given information we know that B is running 100 meters in 15 seconds. So how many meters will B run in 12 seconds? Now cross multiply 100 into 12 by 15, 3 fives, 3 fours, 5 twenties, 20 into 4, 80 meters. So if you clearly see here A is completing his race or 100 meters in 12 seconds but in the same 12 seconds B is running only 80 meters. So A defeats B by 20 meters. Now this is the solution for this problem. Now let us go to the next problem in this chapter. In a 500 meter race A defeats B by 50 meters and C by 95 meters. In the same race by how many meters will B defeat C. Here also assuming A, B and C are running at constant speed. Now let us write down what is given in the question. In a 500 meter race A defeats B. It means that A completed his race and the total length of the race is 500 meters. Now A defeats B by 50 meters. That is by the time A completed the race B is 50 meters behind the finish line. So by the time A has run 500 meters in the same time B will run 450 meters and C will run 405 meters because A defeated C by 95 meters. So by the time A completed the race C should be 95 meters behind the finish line that is in the same time C will run 405 meters. So coming to the given information if A runs 500 meters in the same time B will run 450 meters and in the same time C will run 405 meters. Now what is asked in the question? In the same race by how many meters will B defeat C? Now if B has to defeat C definitely he has to complete his race but here B has run only 450 meters. Now what is that we have to find out? We need to find out by the time B completes the race that is by the time B will run 500 meters in the same time how many meters will C run. Now calculation part 500 into 405 by 450 0 and 0 you get cancelled 45 nines 9 into 50 450. So by the time B completed his race that is by the time B has run 500 meters in the same time C has run 450 meters. So B defeats C by 50 meters. Now let us discuss the next problem in this chapter. In a 600 meter race A defeats B by 40 meters or 8 seconds. What is the time taken by A to complete the race when A and B run at a constant speed? 
Now, first of all, let us try to understand what is the meaning of the given statement for us in the question. Now, in a 600 meter race, A defeats B by 40 meters. Now, there are different ways in which we can understand, but which way will help us to answer our question in a simple way. Let us try to understand. In a 600 meter race, A defeats B by 40 meters. It means by the time A completes the race, B is 40 meters behind the finish line or I can say if A runs 600 meters in the same time, B will run 560 meters. Now, this is one way in which we can understand this statement. Another way which will help us to answer our question in a simple way. When I say A defeats B by 40 meters, it means that after A completing the race, B has to run 40 meters to complete his race. Now, this is the best way to understand and to solve this question in a very simple way. A defeats B by 40 meters once again after A completing the race, B has to run 40 meters to complete his race. And we have one more statement that A defeats B by 8 seconds. Now, how can we understand this? A defeats B by 8 seconds. After A completing the race, B takes 8 seconds to complete his race. So, if you analyze both these statements, we will come to a conclusion that after A completing the race, either B has to run 40 meters to complete his race or he has to run for 8 seconds to complete his race. So, who is running 40 meters in 8 seconds? Obviously, B is the person who will run 40 meters in 8 seconds. So, what is the speed of B? So, speed of B should be equal to 40 by 8 which is 5 meters per second. Now, from this given information, I can find out what is the time taken by B to complete his race. Obviously, it should be 600 by 5, 120 seconds. Now, 120 seconds is the time taken by B to complete his race. Then what is the time taken by A to complete his race? Time taken by A to complete his race. Now, in the given information, we know that A defeats B by 8 seconds. So, A should be taking 8 seconds less than B to complete his race. And we found out that Time taken by B to complete his race is 120 seconds. So, time taken by A to complete his race should be 112 seconds. So, A will complete his race in 112 seconds. Now, let us discuss the next question in this chapter. In a 1000 meter race, a gives B a start of 100 meters and still defeats him by 25 seconds. If the speed of A is 8 meters per second, then find the speed of B. Now, first of all, let us try to understand what is the meaning of A gives B a start of 100 meters in a 1000 meter race. The simple way to understand the meaning of this statement is now, the total race here is 1000 meters. It means that A should run 1000 meters, but B has to run only 900 meters. Now, from the given information, definitely I can find out what is the time taken by A to complete his race. Now, what is the time taken by A to complete his race? Now, time is distance by speed and distance is 1000 meters and the speed of A is 8 meters per second. So, time taken by A to complete his race is 125 seconds. Now, if A completed his race in 125 seconds, then what is the time taken by B to complete his race? 
Now, in the given question, we have that A defeats B by 25 seconds. So, B should be taking 25 seconds more than A to complete his race. Time taken by B to complete his race should be 125 plus 25 that is 150 seconds because A defeats B by 25 seconds. Now, speed of B. Now, what is the length of the race of B? The length of the race of B will be 900 meters because A gives B a start of 100 meters in a 1000 meter race. So, speed of B will be 900 by 150 which is 6 meters per second. Thank you. For more videos, subscribe at www.youtube.com slash narishaiti.